we now discuss the solution of a problem that appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 27th june 2022 in the first shift the problem is related to a circle and a parabola and it is from the section coordinate geometry the given question is a circle of radius 2 units passes through the vertex and focus of the parabola y square is equal to 2x and it touches the parabola y is equal to x minus 1 by 4 whole square plus alpha where alpha greater than 0 then 4 alpha minus 8 whole square is equal to so we are given a circle of radius 2 units and it is given it passes through the vertex and parabola of this parabola y square is equal to 2x and it is further given another parabola y is equal to x minus 1 by 4 whole square plus alpha where alpha greater than 0 it's given that uh, our circle touches this parabola that means we have a circle of radius 2 units that will pass through the vertex and focus of this parabola y square is equal to 2x and that circle touches another parabola y is equal to x minus 1 by 4 whole square plus alpha where alpha greater than 0 required to find the value of 4 alpha minus 8 whole square that's our given question we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail let's call this circle c and it is given that its radius is 2 units and the center is not known therefore let h comma k be the center of that uh, circle then the equation of the circle c is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to 2 square b the circle and we have first a parabola is the first parabola y square is equal to 2x and uh, its origin its its vertex is the origin and uh, its focus is at a comma 0 and uh, you no know, y square is equal to 2x when seen in the standard form it's of the form y square is equal to 4ax so 4a is equal to 2 so a will be 1 by 2 so the focus f will be at a comma 0 that is 1 by 2 comma 0 so the vertex is called as v at 0 comma 0 the focus is called as f and uh, at 1 by 2 comma 0 respectively it's given that this circle c passes through v 0 comma 0 and uh, the focus f with coordinates 1 by 2 comma 0 so since it passes through 0 comma 0 it should satisfy substituting in the circle equation you will get h square plus k square is equal to 4 square and it passes through half comma 0 therefore h is equal to 1 by 2 k is equal to 0 substitute we will get x minus 1 by 2 whole square plus y square is equal to 4 agreed from these two equations we see we see 4 minus k square is h square 4 minus k square is 1 by 2 minus h whole square so they are equal therefore we get h square is equal to 1 by 2 minus h whole square expanding we will get h square is equal to 1 by 4 minus h plus h square h square square cancels and we will get h is equal to 1 by 4 when h is 1 by 4 k square value 
you will put in h square plus k square is equal to 4 square. 4, 4. You will get k square is equal to 4 minus h square. That is 4 minus 1 by 4 square. That is 4 minus 1 by 16. And it is 64 minus 1 by 16. That is 63 by 16. And k will be plus or minus under the square root of 63 whole by 4. So, the k is possible even for both the values. Therefore, let the equation of the circle, the equation of the circle is c x minus 1 by 4 whole square that is h plus y plus r minus under the square root of 63 by 4 whole square is equal to 2 square that is equal to 4. So, that means to say uh, this equation gives rise to is a single equation we have written, but it represents two circles for plus one for minus the other circle. Let us see, let us see what happens to this circle in the next slide. That is our given question for reference. We have the circles equation which we have derived in the last slide x minus 1 by 4 whole square plus y plus r minus under the square root of 63 by 4 whole square is equal to 4. Given that this circle c touches another parabola whose equation is y is equal to x minus 1 by 4 whole square plus alpha where alpha is given to be greater than 0. Look at these two equations carefully and see that uh, this uh, circle c touches the parabola when the circle touches the parabola and look at these two equations and because of the presence of x minus 1 by 4 whole square in both these things, it touches the circle C touches this parabola at a point whose abscess are that is x coordinate is 1 by 4. Yes, when x coordinate is 1 by 4 the y coordinate will be from the parabola's equation substituting x is equal to 1 by 4 you will get y is equal to alpha. That is c touches the parabola at the point 1 by 4 comma alpha of this parabola. Agreed. Agreed. Now if x is equal to 1 by 4 look at the parabola's equation then y will be alpha. If x is equal to 1 by 4, look at the circle's equation, y plus r minus under the square root of 63 by 4 is equal to square root of 4 that is plus r minus 2. Agreed. That means uh, y is equal to alpha from here and from here y is equal to plus r minus 2 plus r minus root of 63 by 4. So, y is equal to alpha and y is equal to plus or minus 2 plus or minus 63 by alpha. Therefore, y is equal to alpha is equal to plus or minus 2 plus or minus under the square root of 63 by 4. So, alpha is this value. So, now alpha gives rise to four values now. Plus or minus 2 here, plus or minus 2, plus r. So, which of these are alpha greater than 0? The condition is satisfied. Notice that 2 plus r plus under the square root of 63 by 4 is greater than 0 obviously. 2 minus under the square root of 63 by 4 is greater than 0 because uh, square root of 63 by 4 is strictly less than 2. Is less than 2. So, therefore, it is greater than 0. Minus 2 plus under the square root of 63 by 4 is negative. Is negative. Why? Because this is less than 2. And minus 2 minus under the square root of 63 by 4 is negative, obviously. Agreed. That means uh, these uh, two which are less than 0 for, for the value alpha is discarded because alpha is given to be greater than 0. So, alpha is given to be alpha we obtain as 2 plus r minus under the square root of 63 by 4 because alpha greater than 0. Now, take uh, the LCM, take the LCM, we will get 4 alpha minus 8 is equal to plus or minus under the square root of 63. 
And what is that we want? We want 4 alpha minus 8 whole square. So squaring on both sides, we'll get 4 alpha minus 8 whole square is equal to 63. That's our answer. What is asked in the given question? Agreed. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem which is related to a circle and a parabola from the section coordinate geometry. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and I wish you all the best. Thank you.